first part is we're going to take these butternut squash, we're just going to season them. A little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil, and this is some of our adobo. It's a house-made oh. spice that we do. It's sort of all-purpose seasoning. We're just going to do a nice little toss on these, and we're going to pop them in a 350 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes. People tend to roast ve root vegetables with a tray in the bottom scorches and the top is not cooked, right? So always try to put a little bit of foil, or in this case we're using parsley paper. Let me ask you a question. So growing up, the Brussels sprout was kind of frowned upon, right? Nobody ate Brussels sprouts. Right? Nobody. It was, it was a forgotten, a forgotten right. vegetable. Now it's all the rage. I, can only, I wish I would have known how much Brussels sprouts cost when I started cooking. But they were probably <laughs> nothing. You know what I mean? Let's sort of take off the outer leaves and the core and cut them in half. I wouldn't even go as far as to say you can do that even raw. Just take yourself a nice little Japanese uh, mandolin and shave them super shave thin. Them. And you could do this whole procedure without even cooking the crust spots. If you really want to for a nice little variation. So I'll just drop these right in the fryer. They tend to splash a little bit. So you just sort of drop them all in. Just go to about that point right there. You don't want them too dark because they will, they will get bitter. And then you're going to take a generous amount of this, this vinaigrette. This, really yeah. is, this is what sort of makes it. And also, they're very porous, you know? Thank you, Chef. They're very porous, the, uh, the Brussels sprouts, so they need a lot of vinaigrette. Do a nice little pile. We call it a salad, but it's for me, it's more like a shared diet. Sure it's a great Thanksgiving dish. Absolutely. It's absolutely. Yeah. And people are always looking for alternatives of having something vegetarian that doesn't have tons of meat on it. It goes really great with some, uh, some tortilla cheese. I can see some shaved carrot in there as well. I can see a lot of different things kind of come into play. The idea of the simplicity and taking the ingredients that are inherently Mexican and creating something that we, we feel strongly about and we, we think is, is really indicative of, of our, our path, or why we're here. And uh, this one, people can't get enough.